<laughs> Hello. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my triathlon YouTube channel. Are you Hi, Drew. Why? Why? Why are you talking like that? Triathlon YouTube channel. You doing that again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my triathlon YouTube channel. <laughs> Today. <laughs> We are making a carbohydrate mix. So previously we've used, just let me use this, this uh, the Science and Sport Go Energy. We've also used the Precision Hydration um, powder and the cube gels, like the, th the little jelly uh, cubes. And Tailwind. Tailwind, we've used Tailwind before. And there's nothing wrong with all of those things, but the problem is that it's just expensive. And especially for if you're sugar. doing- It's just sugar. It's just sugar. Especially for like training rides and then racing as well. So previously, in a previous video, I'd mentioned that we'd just been having sugar, electrolyte and water uh, for training, and that's worked well, but we've got some races coming up. So we're like stepping it up and we're making <laughs> like an actual carb drink scientific carb drink so greg is on the, sh the video today because greg did chemistry as <laughs> <laughs> I'm i don't that. think i need a chemistry degree for this yeah no but i'm just saying you you do understand science so you did a chemistry degree masters yeah masters in chemistry yeah. then has been a science teacher at high school for x amount of years and is going into the fire service but that's just backstory and he is gonna explain what we're doing so Simple questions for Greg are, I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing a Zoe podcast. Could, can you make your own carbohydrate drink that would be effective for racing and training? Um, yes, we're going to try, but we don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. If it's effective. <laughs> would this be a cheaper option than buying those that are on the market? Absolutely. And the sugar that we've used so far has been way cheaper and has worked pretty well. We're just trying to optimise it. The ingredients that you've purchased, are they very easy to get online? Um, I ordered them and they came the next day and it cost me, what was it, about 15 quid for both. Cool. Right, so, question, first question before I come in because I, I want to be able to hear you and see you. Um, why are we not just using sugar? So what's sugar and why don't we just use sugar and electrolytes as we have been doing? What's wrong with that? So, the sugar is made of a certain, like, standard sugar that we, like, put in your tea or whatever, granulated caster sugar, is made of sucrose, which is a certain type of sugar, which is a molecule made of glucose and fructose together, which are the two types of sugars that you do want in your carbohydrate drink. Okay. Too scientific already. No, that's fine. <laughs> so, that's sucrose fine. is a, a molecule of those two that gets broken down in your digestive system into the glucose and the fructose and they will be in like a one-to-one -one ratio right it's good to have both the glucose and the fructose because you've got different transporters in your gut to get those into your bloodstream um, and if you've got two different types of sugars you should be able to take on more grams of carbohydrates per hour which is good so that you can sort of go faster for longer, I guess, uh, especially in longer races. So you want the glucose and the fructose, but getting it from standard sugar, sucrose, gives it in this one-to-one -one ratio that might not be the absolute best ratio. You also have to break it down in your digestive system and whether that is like the most efficient way to do it, I'm not sure, I, I don't really know the studies on that, but the studies show that um, a ratio of glucose to fructose of some studies show that two to one glucose to fructose is beneficial a lot more recent studies show that a, a one to 0 0.8 ratio of glucose to fructose is beneficial so we're going to start with the one to 0 0.8 uh, we've got some yeah what have we got so what have we ordered online so we've got so we've got maltodextrin, which is a longer molecule of um, glucose that's bonded together to make a longer molecule and you'll just break that down in your digestive system into glucose. We've also got straight fructose, which is from Peak Sups. Yeah, and got that's fructose powder, we've got a kilogram of that. We've got the maltodextrin, how much of that we got? Quite a big bag. We've got two, two and a half five. kilos of that. So what I'm going to do in is we'll uh, put it into our old tub <laughs> to keep it and to mix it up and put the lid on and just sort of shake it off a bit. Question, how much were those two things? 25.98 together. So those two, maltodextrin and the other thing, were £25, yeah? 
in yeah. total. And hopefully, how much do you reckon this is going to make? Do you reckon it's going to fill that tub of science? Well, it'll make um, three, and a, three and a half kilograms worth, whereas this tub, how much did that cost? Maybe about the same price. Yeah, and that's only one. But it only made 1.6. So yeah, we're so making it's about. Cost effective. So, how, how are we doing it? So, if you're saying we're so, doing a 1 to 0.8 formula. Yeah, what this maltodextrin, I'm going to try and make, I mean, 900 grams works because you can do 500 grams of the maltodextrin, the glucose, and you can do 400 grams of the fructose, and that will make a 1 to 0 0.8 ratio of glucose to fructose. I'm actually just going to put it in there and then put the lid on and mix it up. Fair enough. And why are we doing um, this as the 0.8? This and That's just what studies show is a good ratio for absorbing the, the most effectively, I guess. And what's going to be the difference between the science and sport that we've had, just for example, because we've got this the tub here, like what's not in it that's that we're doing that's not in it? Flavours or colour, like what? what's so, missing? So if you just put the sugars, the glucose and the fructose into water, it's not going to taste very well. It also won't give you, it taste very well. It's not going to taste very nice. Yeah. It also won't give you the electrolytes that you need for your hydration as well. Now, some people say that it's good to separate out your Carbs. fueling carbs from your electrolytes hydration mm. because then you can sort of adjust. It. Yeah. But uh, I seem to have got on pretty well with mixing them both together. So uh, what we're going to do is put some standard sort of electrolyte tablets, like for example, these high five ones that have a flavor. I think these are citrus. Yeah. The berry ones are particularly nice. Yeah. Um, you just put however many of those you need um, into your carb mix with the water and that gives it a good flavor which is quite important, <laughs> also gives it um, the electrolytes that you need. Yeah, so. and you could also have like the electrolyte tabs if you did want to separate it out, um, the precision hydration tablets, so we, we've used those before in runs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like capsules. Yeah, like capsules if you did want to um, use something different. Uh, if you say, for example, Greg, you wanted to use like some Ribena or something just to make it taste, would that affect the glucose and would it have to be no sugar or... Do you not know? But I'm just thinking if someone was like, oh, I want more flavour, I want a lemon flavour, or I want a lime cordial, would that have any bearing on the, like, the overall carbs? Would it have to be a zero sugar kind of cordial? No sugar. Uh, I know it's, like, I've read on a few places online that people put just straight cordial in. That would obviously affect the sugar, but it should be quite easy to see how much carbs are in there and just sort of adjust. Yeah, for it wouldn't how have like a massive. That you put in there. And yeah. you could experiment with how much of that you put in for like what flavour it gives. Um, but I, to be honest, I think the electrolyte formula that we're using... It, it tastes... When we've had it just sugar water, it tasted fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. And it's easy to get and it's still like cheap as well. So yeah, so we've just got some simple scales and you're going to weigh out, what did you say? 500 grams of one and 400 grams... So 500 grams of the maltodextrin, which is broken down to glucose in your digestive system and 400 grams of the fructose, which is already just fructose. Yep, so it's just going to be simple. Putting those together, shake the tub and then tomorrow when we come to it if say for example i wanted 50 grams of carbs say i want 50 grams of carbs per hour am i just taking 50 grams from that putting it into a bottle and putting it with the arch lights yeah exactly so however so, many grams of carbs you want should be exactly the, the number of grams of um the carb mix yeah, that you the take yeah. yeah so we'll try that tomorrow so uh yeah we are going on a ride tomorrow but that's it's really easy to do, like I would never have thought of it and even when you're explaining that I don't really get it that much but hopefully you guys get it <laughs> more so and it's just like a really cheap option, we found it really cheap just using the sugar and especially for like you going out for maybe like a two hour, three hour training ride but then really you stop for a coffee and you have something to eat and you don't actually end up using all of that fuel and previously it's like gosh that's like five pounds worth of fuel or more whereas when it's been sugar like we're not, we're not bothered to throw it away are we so it's like it's just more cost effective and try off on such an expensive sport so if you can do something like this then it's great obviously if you prefer eating and carbs or you prefer mixing them say for example you want to take a banana then you would just reduce your powder intake of carbohydrates and just just do it that way so hopefully it'll work we've done all right off the sugar water so i, I can only see it going up from here i suppose we could try that other ratio that you said that you've read about or any other ratio difference. in between just because uh, yeah. i guess it could be quite individual how well you absorb different 
yeah. ratios. I'll let you know how we get on, I guess, uh, the result, how the results go. It's an interesting one. It's something cool to do. Did you get these off Amazon, by the way? Or did you get them from Bulk and... No, no, just stuff? off Amazon. Just off Amazon, so very easy to get. I will uh, put a little link to them in the comments because how you spell maltodextrin not sure <laughs> i can barely say it never mind spell it if you've got any questions for science greg chemistry greg or if you would like coaching from chemistry greg <laughs> kinematic coaching plug um then he's available <laughs> uh, the reason we're now trying this is i don't know how well you would handle the sugar i mean i've, I've done it up to about 60 or maybe 70 grams of carbs per hour and it's been yeah. okay but i want to try and get up to absorbing like 90 maybe 100 grams of carbs per hour we'll, we'll see how, how far it goes but i think to do that you need the sort of more specialized ratio cool. in my departing comments cool well yeah like i say i'll let you know how we get on and um any questions let me know please like and subscribe and i will see you all very very soon bye